Hello everyone and welcome to version 2.3, a massive new update to the directory submission feature. I'm really excited to show you the changes and we have a lot to get through, so let's uh, get started right away. We're going to start by adding a new URL and I'm just going to enter in a test here. And then uh, the very first change you're going to notice is uh, we now require at least one title one description and one keyword uh, before we're going to let you save uh, any new URLs. Before we were allowing people to save without titles or descriptions, uh, but the problem is is they would forget that they left them blank and then they would move on to the submissions uh, feature and start submitting a blank URL uh, without any titles, keywords, or anything like that, uh, which is just, it's not, uh, not going to get accepted, it's not going to get any traffic, uh, so we're protecting both the sites we submit to and you uh, and making sure that uh, the title, description, and keywords is getting filled out. On the Keywords tab is where you're going to notice the real first major improvement we've added. We now have a yes and no checkbox here, and what this does is it allows uh, the software to take your keywords and search for directory categories based off your keywords. As you see here on the Directories Category tab, we have no categories selected here. But let's punch in a few keywords. Sports, Sport, and Health. We make sure this is selected to Yes, and we move on to the next uh, Directory Category page. And you can see Health, Sport, and Sports were all categories that were found uh, in Directories. Now what's great about this is uh, the more categories that you can pick that relate to your site, the more submissions that are going to be available to you. Because not all directories have the same categories. So it's always a great idea uh, when you're first setting up a project to select as many categories as you can. Now this, this new feature here, Keyword Selected Categories, is going to greatly help uh, increase your chances of selecting as many directories uh, categories as possible. The second change we've added is this yes and no checkbox here. Uh, if you type in, let's say, miscellaneous, you can see miscellaneous is actually a category. Now, there's lots of these generic categories. There's miscellaneous, miss, other, and uh, it's a pain to have to type those in for every single project. What you can do now is just make sure this is selected to yes, and if your primary categories don't exist, then the software will search for generic categories of miss, miscellaneous, and other. This is going to open up a whole lot more directories that you can submit to. So this is a great new feature, uh, which is going to allow everyone to pick up more sites they can submit to. All right, we move on to the submissions page, uh, which is where you're going to see your very next uh, update to the software. You can see directory submissions is grayed out. Uh, these features now will gray out uh, depending on uh, if the functionality is available to you or not. Now, you can see back on the getting started page, I entered in a sub URL. It's test22.com forward slash blog one. The root domain is just test22.com. Now, directories do not support sub URLs to be submitted to them. So that means you can't be submitting uh, your Squidoo lenses, your hub pages, and things like this. You can only submit your primary, a primary domain to directories. And the software is actually smart enough now to stop you and protect you. Because what's going to happen is if you keep submitting all these subdomains, not only will the submissions be rejected, but eventually these directories are going to start banning your IP and stopping you from submitting to them. So we're protecting you, we're protecting the directories because we don't want to become a spam software. So for various reasons, these features will now gray out. And if you see one grayed out and you put your mouse over it, it'll give you a pop-up message telling you why the feature is not available. But if we go back here and fix this, and we decided instead we want to submit the root domain, the feature is now available. Now this is the uh, another feature we've added to help protect you guys. Um, 
You can read the message here. We noticed you only have either one title or one description. When doing directory submissions, we highly recommend having a few titles and descriptions. Now, people were doing massive amounts of directory submissions to hundreds of directories using only a single title and a single description. We really, really recommend that you enter in multiple titles and multiple descriptions if you're going to be doing directory submissions. Uh, it, it's, it's not going to look good if there's 500 directories out there that all have the exact same anchor text, same title, uh, same description, um, all pointing back to your site. You want to have multiple titles to spread your footprint so it doesn't look like, uh, like you're just spamming to getting backlinks. The search engines are not going to like that. So we've put in a warning message if you are trying to do access the directory submission feature. Um, and you can just click the button to add more titles. And add more descriptions. And then you can go back on to the directory submission page. Now, when that pop-up message appears, you can choose to ignore it and hit continue anyway, um, which will take you on and you have the power to do those directory submissions without entering multiple titles and descriptions. For social bookmarking, um, I usually only use a single title and description because uh, you're not submitting to nearly the level of sites you are with directory submissions. Usually with RSS, I enter uh, at least two titles and descriptions, but for directory submissions, I always enter um, four to eight titles and descriptions. Now, when you click the directory submission feature, it's going to take uh, a little bit longer to load in the, the list of directories than it used to. Um, this is for a few reasons. Uh, one reason is we now open up more transparency under the categories. So you can see for all these sites, we now display what category the software is selected to submit your uh, website to. Uh, this really makes sure that no inappropriate categories have been selected and that you have complete control um, over where everything is being submitted. So in order to load in all these categories, there's literally over 100,000 different categories between all the directories. So it takes some time to load in that giant list of all the categories and pre-select uh, each category for each site. The second reason it's taking longer to load uh, is that we've added over 135 new directories to the software. So the software has to now go out look through a giant pool of the directories that we submit to, see which directories are available to you based on your categories, uh, and then present the list to you. So it's a massive amount of work the software has to do, and it just takes a little bit longer for the page to load. Another feature update in this, uh, in this version is uh, some of the directories were stalling for quite a while, which, uh, and even causing the software to freeze, uh, for some people. We fixed all of that. The submissions now run beautifully during the directory submissions. Um, also, we've changed uh, uh, sometimes under submission status, people were getting the no category found error, which you will never ever see anymore because we only present directories to you that have the category uh, that you've selected. So you'll never be sub wasting your time submitting to a site that doesn't even have the category available. So we've really streamlined the whole directory submission process. We've added a ton of new sites. Um, so uh, we're, we're very, very excited for this version update. Uh, you can also check out the blog posts along with this to see what's coming out in version 2.4. We're very, very excited to release version 2.4 where we're actually um, adding new functionality to the software. Um, so stay with, uh, stay tuned to look out for version 2.4, and I hope you guys really enjoy version 2.3. Thank you very much.